Hi, good afternoon Mayfield. This is Thursday, January 16th, and this is a video for our pre-algebra classes. Uh, we've been finishing up a unit on proportional reasoning, and now we're going to look at more interpreting it and eventually talking a little bit more about slope. Um, I did go to our shoebox for suggestions. We had one. Um, so yay, your gets picked. Homework video, unit 2, lesson 12, which is down here. Uh, the graph is on the back for this one, if it seems a little unclear. Diego and Noah left the amusement park's ticket booth at the same time. Each moved at a constant speed toward his favorite ride. After eight seconds, Noah was 17 meters from the ticket booth, and Diego was 43 meters away from the ticket booth. So right now I'm thinking of those as coordinates. Which graph represents the distance traveled by Noah? and which line represents the distance traveled by Diego. Label each graph with a name. So that would be on the back. All right, so I know that Noah were my coordinates 817. Diego are my coordinates 843. I have my time labeled. I have my distance labeled. I don't have even intervals, okay? What I do know though is if I were to pick a point and use my straight edge to extend that to intercept the two lines. At any point in time, this person has gone less far than this person. That means this line is going to be Diego because at any period in time, his y value is higher than this person's y value. And our y value in this case is our meters traveled. So Diego, and then Noah. And then number two, explain how you decided which graph represents each person's travel. So for me, I would say something like the steeper graph represents the greater number of meters traveled. at any one time. So I hope that helps a little bit. Obviously your explanation could be different than mine as long as it makes sense in the problem and you have Diego and Noah labeled correctly, then we're in a good place. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps a little bit and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everybody.